Guys, today we're playing a Nightmare on Elm Street, just in time, well, it's close to Halloween, for the NES, and we're gonna play, that's Freddy, he has claws, but he doesn't have his glove, that's from Nightmare on Elm Street 2, although this game seems to be released on Nightmare, uh, me, excuse me, this game seems to be based on a Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, The Dream Warriors. Because you get different powers in your dream, etc., etc. And this is actually a four player game. I don't think this game is as bad as, like, some people say. And if you look at video game music, this game always seems to be on the list. It has a really good soundtrack. So you gotta go in these houses and collect. Freddy's Bones, I guess, which is sort of close to the plot of A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, where they have to find the bones to give him a proper burial. The control's a little bit floaty on this. Right now we're awake, though you wouldn't think it. It's kind of good the enemies fly back the way he punches. That was a good idea for the simple fact that, um, how am I supposed to get this one? Because if you punched them, they kept on coming towards you. You just get hit for no reason at all. Uh, my health is pretty low. I meant to jump, like I said, this game's floaty. Let's cutie turn into a little angel. So if he dies, we know that he's going to a better place. Oh, I'm sucking at this. Oh, no. Things get a little bit worse when you're in the dream world. Spiders grow Freddy heads and everything. I've never beat this game before, nor do I have any intention to. When I played this game for the first time when I was a kid, I never actually saw a nightmare in Elm Street, but I was fascinated by the character because he's mysterious. I didn't know anything about Freddy Krueger. This game's pretty much my first introduction, and I was still absolutely clueless until I saw the first nightmare in Elm Street. Freddy was way scarier in my head, the less I knew about him. I don't know if that's supposed to be a demon or what. Ouch. This control is definitely kinda crappy to get used to. Yeah. 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 
activity of the boss in this
とりあえずあと結構豚も。I'm gonna end this here. This was a nightmare in Alma Street for the NES. Not nearly as bad as people say it is. I'd actually give it a shot. I'd definitely get it if you're into collecting NES games and it's reasonably affordable. It's a fun game. Don't want the LJN deal fool me. That's who made this. I can't even remember. Maybe it says it on the credits. Nope. We'll just have to assume it's an LJ and game. But it's not bad. It's way better than the Friday the 13th game. I definitely would at least give it a try. Alright, guys, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.